Hi, my name is Camila Moreno, and in this presentation, I will talk about China and its minimal freedom of press, focusing on the current situation of the whole world, the crisis with the COVID-19. Virus that appeared for the first time in Wuhan province of China. According to recent data from Reporteros Sin Fronteras, the first case of infection occurred at the beginning of December and were followed by a series of infections and deaths that were reported by the Chinese Communist Party until mid January. Almost a month after the first infection, the Chinese press was able to inform the public about the issue, which had not been done before due to censorship measure in the country. To explain these ideas well, I will guide to the presentation by the following question. How did Chinese censorship contribute to the spread and disinformation of the coronavirus in the world? I will talk about three key issues. One, censorship in China to understand how authoritarianism makes press freedom impossible. Two, the context of the coronavirus in Wuhan, and three, I will end up talking about press freedom and its importance for what is happening in the world. According to the Reporteros Sin Fronteras, China ranks 177 out of 180 countries in the World Press Freedom Index. It is one of the most censored countries in the world. This is to to the country form of the government. The People of Republic of China is under the command of Xi Jinping, who rudely runs the Chinese Communist Party, the army and the state. However, censorship in China is not recent. Since 2003, the Great Firewall was great a cyber wall to censor and monitor internet access. However, this blocking of information is also carried out on television, radio, and in this media. This greatly affects the freedom of expression, freedom of the press, and public control of information. According to an article by UE Tadeo University, journalism in China is simply a spokesperson for the government. Therefore, any publication on the web must be endorsed by government, which directly affects journalists and their work is reviewed, filtered, and censored. China is the country with the most journalists in prison, according to a Share America. Report by the end of the 2019 of the 250 journalists in prison worldwide, of 48 are in the, this country, in China. According to the last report by Reporters Without Borders, by 20 December there were already 60 patients in Wuhan with a virus like a SARS, but the authorities did not consider it appropriate to report this then. On 25 December, Dr. Liu Sao Hong, head of gastroenterology of Wuhan City Hospital, began the suspect and disease that spread from human to human, as several of his colleagues at the hospital are illness. The doctor did not notify the press as he would have been exposed to several punishment from the government. However, on, the, on December 30, a group of doctors of Wuhan Central Hospital, including the well-known Dr. Li Wenling, alerted the government to what was happening, but still did not allow the media to expose this information. On January 3, the police arrested this medical group claiming that they spread false rumors. Despite uh, the fact that on December 31, China alerted the World Health Organization to the virus and information is leaked on China's social networks. The government immediately decides to censor WeChat, an um, application very similar to WhatsApp, so that the seriousness of the virus is no not. Journalists were unable to report on this, so there were no early precautions to contain the virus by the media. On January 5, 
Shanghai Public Health Clinical Center suspected is sequence to the virus, which meant they already knew what it was, but the government did not want this to be public yet. Until January 11, the government the press claiming that the first person had died from coronavirus. On January January, January 37, uh, the coronavirus is outside of China. A start of sequence around the world, which was not reported in the time by the media because of the lack of press freedom in China. Um, uh, as I told you before, because of the censorship in this country and the almost not existent freedom of the press, the world began to learn about the virus the virus in mind January, almost a month after almost a month after the virus become known in China. To conclude, we will open up a number of possibilities that might have happening if freedom of speech of freedom of the press had existed in China. One, uh, doctors would have informed the press about the virus without fearing several punishment from the government, even two weeks later several would have died because of their work. Uh, two, the media would have reported quickly on all platforms such as television, radio and social networks so that people would be prevent and take care of. In addition, they would have warned countries around the world about this virus and maybe the world would have been more prepared for this moment we are living.